Have you heard that fish is an important part of the Mediterranean diet, but you're not quite sure how to cook it? Well, then this video is for you. By the end of this video, you're going to know how to make the easiest fish recipe. It's simple and delicious and goes with so many varieties of fish. Hey there, I'm Dr. Anna. I'm a medical doctor. I was trained in Italy. And on this channel, you are going to learn how to master the Mediterranean diet. So let's start with our ingredients. Today, I'm making a haddock which is a type of a white fish, but know that you can use any other type of fish that you want for this. You can use tilapia, salmon, snapper, trout. If you're someone that doesn't love a super fishy flavor, I do recommend going with something like a haddock, a halibut, or a tilapia because those are milder in flavor. The other ingredients you'll need is olive oil, a lemon, a clove of garlic, and grated Parmesan cheese. But you should know that grating your own Parmesan cheese will have a little bit better flavor. Then it's time to set that oven. You wanna start by setting your oven to the right temperature and letting it preheat while you then go and prepare the fish. On my oven, I use 400. Now after I hit that preheat setting on the oven, I'm ready to go mince up my garlic. I grab one clove and I chop it up. Now, depending on how many people you're cooking for, you could double this recipe easily if you wanted to feed four to six people, but I'm just making this for myself and my partner. So then I grab my baking dish and I put a little drop of olive oil on it. I place my fish on top of it. Now you need to use fish that's at room temperature. I actually bought this fish frozen in the grocery store and then I thawed it. I thawed it following the directions that were listed on the packaging. So I go ahead and place the fish on the drop of oil in the baking dish. Then I sprinkle over top my minced up garlic and my Parmesan cheese. I'm nearly coating the fish with the cheese, but not 100%. By the way, if you're liking this video so far, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. All right, so it's time to pop it in the oven and I set the timer for 12 minutes. This recipe does call for anywhere between 13 to 16 minutes of total baking time. So once my timer goes off at the 12 minute mark, I grab a pot handle, I pull it out and I have a fork. Now the goal here is to see if the fish starts flaking when poked with a fork. That's actually how you know that it's ready. Mine is forking and it is ready. So I'm taking it out and I'm gonna let it cool. Believe it or not, that is it. When you are ready to eat this, go ahead, plate it, and make sure you grab that lemon and give it a good squeeze. This is such an important point because it makes the flavor of this dish next level. Et voila, you are done. Et voila, now your fish is delicious and ready. So I am gonna say it one more time because it's so important. Squeeze that lemon on the fish before you eat it. You won't be sorry. Now I have to ask you, what is your favorite fish? Comment below in our group and let us know what you think and how you prepare it so that we can have more amazing fish recipes floating around our healthy community. Now, if you like eating fish and cooking fish and you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Give it a thumbs up and consider sharing this video with at least three friends or family members who you think could benefit from learning more, especially easy ways to cook the Mediterranean diet. Now, knowing how to make a simple fish recipe is great, but it's it's really not enough because knowledge is power. You're gonna wanna know all the types of fish that you should be considering to eat in the Mediterranean diet to truly master this diet and keep it exciting with lots of fishy variety. 